Hi, this is Jerry from AppDataWorks. This video I'm going to show you how to create a simple ad graphic for web advertisement. So you're a small business and you have the opportunity to advertise on a local website and you don't have any graphics to provide. So you have two choices. One, you can hire a professional or you can do it yourself. And with the vast array of different ad sizes that you might encounter out there uh, trying to do advertising on the web, you will save a lot of money if you learn how to do it yourself. It doesn't have to be elaborate. The ads basically have to contain your business name, maybe your tagline, your website, and a phone number. And that's about it. So for this advertisement that we're going to create, I'm going to use a free program called Paint.net. You can use any paint or graphic program that you want to, but you should at least use one that provides the ability to create layers. The reason that's important is that if you are 90% of the way finished with your ad and you make a mistake, you won't have to start from scratch. Paint.net can be obtained from www.getpaint.net. Be very careful that you do not download from this link. This link is not the download for Paint.net. This link right here is the link for downloading Paint.net. So click this link, download this file, install the software, and when you're done, then you can come back and follow along on this tutorial. Now the first thing we're going to do is open up Paint.net. I'm not going to get into what all of these things are yet on the screen, uh, only what we need to accomplish the task of creating an ad. So for this demonstration, we're going to use a common size horizontal ad. Uh, 728 pixels wide by 90 pixels high. So the first thing we're going to want to do is change the size of the actual image here. We're going to resize the image to 728 by 90. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a background color on this graphic so that um, I could use white, I could use black, I can use any color I want. Down here at the bottom of the color palette, you'll find a series of colors. I'm going to pick a light blue, and that's going to be my primary color. I'm going to select the paint bucket, and I'm going to click inside of the graphic in order to paint the entire background blue. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer for my first text. I'm going to select the text tool. I'm going to select a font to use for the ad. Let's use something Century Gothic. Uh, right now I have the 12 pixel font size. It's left justified or aligned to the left and that's exactly what I want. So let's put in my business name. Okay, first mistake, I need to make sure the color I'm using isn't the background color. Another thing that you want to be very careful of is that you are actually typing on the layer that you want to type on. It's very easy to make a mistake and be typing on the wrong layer. So just be careful what you're doing, select the correct layer, make sure your color, your primary color is the color you want, set your cursor and type the name of your business. I like that, but I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger. Let's try 16. Let's try 18, 20. Okay, I like that one. So we're going to go with that. Now we're going to add a new layer for our next text element to keep them separate. If you ever need to make a change, you will only have to make the change on that layer. So with the text selected, we're going to use a smaller font. We'll try 16. Place the cursor approximately where you want it. We can move it after. And I'm going to type the tagline. Okay, now we grab this little handle to move this text exactly where you want it. Make sure you're 100% positive that's where you want it because once you go off this layer, this text will not be editable. You'll have to delete it and start again. Now I want to add the phone number and the URL. So we're going to add one more layer for the phone number. Actually, let's do the URL next. I'm going to go and select a smaller font size. We just want to tuck it down here at the bottom and maybe we'll um, put in an email address too. And now the phone number. So for the phone number, I want that to be pretty prominent. So we're going to make a new layer. Again, make sure the layer you want to type on is selected. We're going to increase the font this time to a uh, pretty large. Let's try 36. We're going to uh, align the text to the right side so we can place the cursor here. 352610980. Okay, that's too big. That's no problem. We're just going to drop the text size down to 28. That's perfect. And that's pretty much it. I've got my graphic, got the name of my business, I've got the tagline, I've got the website, an email address, and the phone number. Once you have some experience with an art program, it'll be much easier to create something a little bit more elaborate or dramatic or visually appealing. But for right now, this works. We're going to save it now.
So we're going to save this in the paint.net format first. Okay, that's what comes up by default on layered images. I already created a folder called Add Graphic Lesson. So we're going to just put it right in there. Okay, I've got the title. It's a paint.net file, and I'm going to save it. Now I need to save it in a format for the advertiser. And this is important that you give the file a name that will help with search engine optimization. So for this purpose, you're going to be putting, I'm going to be creating this App Data Works graphic and supplying it to a website to be included in an ad. I'm going to want to use the name App Data Works. No spaces, no underscores. Small, lowercase letters, dashes, and that's it, and numbers, and that's it. So now this name, App Data Works, identifies my business. Web ad, horizontal, so the person who is looking in a folder of hundreds of advertisements can maybe do a search, um, you know, for horizontal ads. And I also include the size, 728 by 60, in the ad title, the file name itself. We're going to change the type to a portable network graphic, PNG, and click Save. This is a compression settings window. We're just going to basically just leave the defaults. And then we're going to flatten the file in order to make it all one layer. And now you're going to just take this file and email it to your website that wants your graphic for an advertisement. This is Jerry Buta with AppDataWorks. Totally awesome professional websites. Have an awesome day.